The title of my talk is Radiation Hormesis, Elongation of Lifespan and Reduction of Cancer Risk in A-Bomb Survivors. I'm writing a book. The title is Radiation is a Long Friends of the Earth and Humans. The Earth was born 4.6 billion years ago. At that time, radionuclides were abundant. Nuclides with a long half-life still exist now. Potassium-40 is important because it is a component of our body. Radon-222 has a half-life of 3.8 days, but this is a daughter of uranium-238 and produced every day, and we inhale it every day. Tritium and carbon-14 is produced every, every day in the air by the action of cosmic rays. So we are surrounded by radiations. All foods contain potassium-40. The amount of potassium-40 in dried kelp is 2,000 becquerels per kilogram. We are exposed to internal and external radiations. The dose of internal exposure by oral ingestion is 0.99 sieve, millisievert per year and is equivalent to 9,500 becquerels. We are also exposed to other internal and external radiations, and this total is 1.106 millisievert, equivalent to about 10,000 becquerels. Totally, we, are, we Japanese are exposed to 2.1 millisievert, equivalent to 20,000 becquerels. So we are exposed to 20,000 becquerels per body per second. This shows radiation dose chart based on the banana unit. All living organisms are radioactive. When you hold a baby, you irradiate, irradiate the baby. How much? Eating a half banana. Here's a banana unit. One banana, 0.1 microsievert. When you fly from New York to Los Angeles, you are exposed to 40 microsieverts. Harmless. Let's combine all these into a uh, and we compress to uh, green squares. You expose to four millisievert from natural and medical resources. Harmless. Let's combine all these and compress to brown squares. Radiation of Sievert range appears. When we are exposed to four sieverts, half of us would die of radiation sickness. Micro sieverts, millisievert are harmless. Only high doses are hazardous. We have been exposed to radiation throughout the evolutional history of 4 billion years. We integrated the effects of radiations into our physiological and metabolic pathways. This adaptive response is called hormesis. Those responses follow the J-shaped curve. Linear North threshold model is invalid. At higher doses, 
downtime occurs. Low doses, no observed adverse effect level occurs. This makes threshold A. Below the threshold A, here comes a hormetic dose range. This range is beneficial. Cancer is repressed. Threshold B is indispensable level. When cells or organisms are cut off, the are natural regulations, organisms show a suppressed biological activities. So we need some amount of radiations. Let's see some examples. Tetrahymena forms a kind of protozoa. Was irradiated with radiation from cesium-137. The cells were stimulated, but cells were uh, the radiation was blocked by the bricks. The cell growth was retarded. When fruit flies were irradiated with X rays. The mutation curve show J shaped curve, a hallmark of our hormetic response. Here's facial. When newborn mice were irradiated with gamma rays for life, life span was shortened by heavy doses, heavy doses, but lifespan was elongated by lower doses. One to 10 milligrams per day means 170 to 1,700 times the natural, natural dose rate. a bombed people also show the seas. Energy, the energy of a bomb consists of 50% blast, 35% heat, 15% radiation, and radiation is divided into two, 5% initial radiation and 10% residual radiation. Only the 5% initial radiation was used to estimate Radiation dose and residual radiation was ignored, but the residual radiation should not be neglected. By the way, heat ignited a big fire. A rough calculation show that the energy of this inferno was is 65 fold greater than the that of a bomb itself. Twenty to thirty minutes after the detonation, black rain, black rain started. The black rain was highly radioactive. Black rain affected areas were wide. Heavy rain, light rain. Over reports indicate that the residual radiation should not be ignored. Y axis, people with radiation symptoms. X axis, distance from the uh, epicenter. Red lines shows survivors, outdoor survivors, and entered the central area. 
one kilogram largest from the uh, AT center, and those didn't enter the area. Blue lines show indoor servers and enter the, cent uh, the central area, didn't enter the area. So central area was heavily contaminated. If radiation sickness was caused only by initial radiation, these four lines should converge to three kilometers because radiation, initial radiation could reach three kilometers. Some people enter the Hiroshima city, those who didn't enter the central area didn't show any symptoms, but those who entered the central area showed high ratio, high percentage of symptoms. So residual radiation brought down by black rain should not be ignored. This shows the death of solid cancers in lifespan study in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. A shows the death rate of people with that, um, uh, who has nothing to do with A-bombs. In the city control people showed this death rate than those people. A-bomb people showed J-shaped curve and here's the show. Risk of leukemia in Hiroshima and Nagasaki shows a typical J-shaped curve, a hallmark of policies. Here's the show. Lifespan in our lifespan study, short life, longer life. Entrance into the city, cities within a month lived longer than those entered after a month. So, heavily exposed people lived longer. People exposed to less than five milligrams were divided into four, according to the distance from the H center. The closer to the H center, the longer they live. Those people who are exposed to uh, higher doses. Here we can see J-shaped curve, meaning that policies occur. Let's see the number of people. Heavily elevated people were 700 and six percent. Slightly, <clears throat> those irradiated with low, lower doses the number is more than 100,000 and more than 90,000. 90, so the last form of these people were shorter than ordinary people, but majority of survivors are lived longer than ordinary people. So as a total, the survivors were uh, some of us leave it longer. This is not the uh, final conclusion, but this tendency is expected to last until the lifespan study, until the end of the study. This shows solid cancer mortality in lifespan study of the bomb survivors. The latest three reports were shown are shown here. 
survey period corresponding uh, Japanese cancer deaths. In the increasing order is not in the city control, able people and Japanese engineer. In the city control, people are exposed to uh, hormetic range, hormetic radiations, and the uh, cancer risk become low. Able people who are exposed to both initial and uh, radi radi residual radiations, but most people who are exposed to hormetic radiations and the cancer risk was lower than Japanese in general. This holds true for the other two reports. This is not the final conclusion, but this is, it is more than 75 years since the A bombing and the tendency is expected to last until the end of the lifespan study. The National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America asserts that effects of radiation follow, follows the linear non threshold model. That is, the smallest amount of radiations are proportional to uh, hazardous in proportion to the doses. This is invalid. I do not have enough time to explain this in detail. Madame Curie said, nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. Now is the time to understand more so that we might this fear. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>